Richards with the UT Libraries in the Betsy B. Creekmore Special Collections and University Archives and today we're going to work on doing a sew-in. Pamphlet binder, music score and parts, linen thread, beeswax, awl, sewing needle, micro spatula, binder clips. All right, now that I have all my materials set out, I'm gonna go ahead and start the process. I'll start with the actual music score. Set this aside, and they usually come with the staples in the side, so we're gonna go ahead and remove those. The safest way to remove these is to take a micro spatula and gently lift up the prongs on the inside of the score and make them as vertical as possible. And once you're finished with that, flip it. And then with your fingers on either side of the staples, you can gently rock it back and forth until they have given just a little bit and you have a little bit of space underneath to insert the micro spatula once again and gently pry them out. Now that your staples are removed, we'll go ahead and grab the pamphlet binder here. And I have these spine wrap binders. So we will go ahead and fold it in half. And then I fold the tape back as well. Gently jog the papers to make sure they're all lined up and place them in the correct direction into the pamphlet binder. And then from here, just gently line up on either side, grab your binder clips, and I also bind the adhesive tape as well, just to keep it out of the way while we do our sewing and our hole punching. So now that it's here, we'll grab the awl and start with punching a hole through the center uh, spine. If you fold it closed while pushing, you have a better chance of it coming through the fold on the spine as well. Then about three quarters of an inch to an inch down on the top and bottom of that fold. And then if it's been stapled, I will punch the hole through one of the staple holes so you're not putting another um, weakness, I guess, in the fold. Punch that through. So now you have five holes. Set that aside. So there you go. All right, now grab my thread and measure out the amount that I need, which will be five lengths of the spine. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now grab your beeswax and just pull that thread through the wax just a few times. And this just coats the thread a little, just a little bit, and keeps the thread from um, tangling and helps it stick a little bit better as well. All right. So now that you have your needle threaded and the threads are lined up, you'll start the sewing process. And because I use the spine wrap, 
I start from the outside in the middle hole. Right. Straight through the middle. And you leave about two inches of thread out the back. And that's just to tie off at the end. Now you'll go up to the next hole. And then in through here. And sometimes going in through the back, it gets a little bit tricky uh, to find that hole on the inside. So you just gotta be a little sneaky about it, I guess. All right, now that you've gone through here, you're gonna go back through this hole that you just came out of a moment ago. Here. And you'll just wanna make sure that you're not stabbing that thread. Otherwise, trying to tighten up these stitches at the end will be a bit more of a beast, like I just did. So if you do stab through the thread, let's see if I can hold this up where you can see it. Um, you could just take your needle and go right back through it. And now that it's released, tighten it up a little bit. All right. Now we're gonna skip over that center hole and go to this hole here. Follow the same general process as before. Go through that last hole. And then back through this one. And then lastly, back through that middle hole. Now, if your needle gets stuck and you're having a hard time pulling it through, you can grab a rubber eraser and hold your thumb and the needle uh, together and pull the thread through and it just gives you a little bit extra grip. All right, now that you have gone through all the holes that we punched, we will line this up so this long thread that goes from here to here is between these two. Uh, end threads. And I'll take this moment to tighten up and I'll start at the ends and give it a couple gentle tugs and then I'll pull each tail. You don't want to pull hard enough that you're pulling through the holes, but you want it to be hard enough that you have a little bit of tension on the inside. And then cut the needle off and then you'll tie a square knot. So basically what that means is when I tie my knots, this hand, I usually have that thread on top. So for me, it's the left thread on top. And then when I go to tie the knot again, instead of putting the left thread on top, the right thread goes on top. And that just makes the knots go in opposing directions. So when you tie your knot and tighten it down, you have less chance that that knot's gonna slip out on you. Trim the threads. Pull off your binding clips. And your adhesive backing. And now, starting from the middle, work your way out. And gently brush all the air bubbles out of the tape. Flip it over. And then here I'll just push these threads down so you don't get as many bumps in the spine. Then it's kind of hard to explain, but I take all my fingers and kind of work it up on the spine first, and then gently down to try and make sure everything's coming down evenly. And then starting from the middle, working out, working all those air bubbles out. Then once you're done that, you just take the protecting sheets off and you have a finished sew-in. Yay! That's a wrap! <laughs> <laughs>